I haven't seen Sorry, yo. Yeah. My bro. Did they still carry the wife to? Yeah. 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 London yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. SX rays. They still go for 30 December. Sorry. This is where Lagos meets London. Where Pepham boys chill in Osapa, London. As Morita La Mohammed, Heathrow is on his, is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via coast. This is where Lagos meets London. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Lagos meets London. And yeah, it's your boy OJ, not Simpson. Shades are going to stay <laughs> for the whole of the episode because Why? there's too Sorry, many I'm, fine women around. I've never ah, seen the ah, I, need ah, to, ah, I need to focus. Ah, I can't be looking. Yeah, there's too many fine women around. Ah, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, so it's not because it's Prada. Bro, no, no. bro yeah. came and you know, you know, like, I do always show you their latest it collection. It. No, it's not. He just wore it just now. He just wore it on the way here. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. This, I've, I've, had, I've had this a long time. Oh, yeah. Guys, I just need to stay. I need to focus. Okay. There's too many fine women in the studio. So ah, we need to focus on the agenda. Sorry, and ah. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, Honestly, yeah. The, the viewers are thinking, where, where are they? Ah, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Ah. I don't think so, Jim. Um, guys, me. and I'm Missy Alice in the building, and yeah, go on. Hack of the host, the one and only. Um, yeah, we're live today, Lagos meets London. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And what we are, we are we're with? everywhere. We're on all the platforms we need to be on. We're on Instagram, TikTok. TikTok, our TikTok is booming right now. So hey, right. come on. Yeah, love yeah. That. We love seeing you guys in the comment section, but we need you on the YouTube comment section. Um, but we're also on YouTube. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on um, Spotify. We're everywhere, really. And for those who are we're on Jollof Radio. Um, so yeah, Lovely. get into it. So guys, today, like I said, there's too many pretty women. No, but in the this studio. glasses is distracting me. I can't lie. <laughs> in what way? It's just. Is I it the brother? You look like. Let, let, him, let him let bro style. He's styling today. Uh -huh. Calm, man. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> if I get this, if I get distracted, you can see. If I get distracted, it's not. It's not my fault. As if I forget, as I wanted to stay focused. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing it because my crush is in the studio yeah. today. So I need to, Crush. No, no, don't worry about that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Nigerians that we are, they said Ojula so let's, No, no, let's we need to keep the shades. To we need to keep the shades on. I bought to I bought. Look at your crush in the eye. We need to keep yeah. the shades on. Okay. All right, guys. Uh yes. So Is your like crush crushing on you? <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, but we move, we move, we move, we move, we move. So um, yes, we have, like I said, we have um some special, amazing, funny, gorgeous, uh, the uh, dilemma queens. Uh, uh, they just come off selling off live show. Uh, yeah. It's not easy. No be cho cho cho. So they just come off selling live. Um, they are vibe on screen and off screen. They are the aesthetic queens. Uh, but, uh, if you look at Instagram, you're like, ah, ah. I'm not, no, be cho cho cho. And yeah, they've been able to get a lot of supporters. Instagram, 387k followers. Ah, that, that one. Which one? Is it 387? Is it? Is ah. If OJ says it is, it is. Yeah, it is. Ah, 387, okay. TikTok, wow. 367,000 ah, supporters. Thank you. So guys, <laughs> audio, <laughs> audio <laughs> listeners. Is it ours? It's yours. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah? Yes. yes. Now, three hundred Instagram. Yeah. Followers. What yes. Is it? That's not correct. That's, That's not correct. correct. Is it four hundred? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Four hundred. Yeah. 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 You heard my mind. It's a hundred k. Sorry. I'm that deep. Sorry. It's just because the yeah, way we you need were to... saying it with such conviction, I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> between me getting in the car and coming here, that it's still four hundred. No, I'm sorry. You know what? In my head, I was thinking he was saying four hundred and something. Four hundred and eighty-seven k on. Get right, man. Yeah, four hundred and eighty-seven k and four hundred and sixty-seven k on TikTok. Yeah. So yes. So guys, this is not, we have the ladies of the Uncut podcast. Previously, you know, you might know them as the BTS podcast. So help us welcome Tammy, Beatrice, and Sharon. Thank you. Thank Good you. homework, Thank bro. You. Can well we just hear from you guys individually? Just say something. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, individually. Let's, let's, yeah, so let's hear from you individually. Drop something. Um, I'm Sharon. I'm from the Uncut Podcast, as OJ has already said. Very happy to be here. I'm excited for the combo. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Next. I mean, I thought we were going around. Oh, sorry, I didn't know we were going in there. Or yes, there, or there. there. Hi, I'm Tammy from the Uncut Podcast. Um, they call me the funniest one, and I think that's. I like so, said that. Me. 
Huh? I you like that. that. So. Oh, okay. You don't you don't get the DMs I get. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crying. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, but yeah, it's your girl Beatrice from the Uncut Podcast, and obviously we're here. And yeah, it's gonna be a good vibe. I feel like um, a lot of people like the fact that we react and like all that sort of stuff. Obviously, the core of it is really because we are Nigerian. So mm, yeah. It's, yeah, it's good to be on a platform that Welcome you guys to are Lagos about East London. It. Yeah, for Thank real. Thank you. People have placed their bet for the first person to say A or A. <laughs> so, so whoever you pick out of the three of them, who's your best? Who are your best on? Um, so just wanted to like break the ice quickly. We have okay. so to see how they brought in. Mm -hmm. We we're, we're going to play. We we'll play a game where we're pitting you guys against each other. I ah. hope you guys are competitive. Yes. Yeah, oh. so. Okay, that's good. Friendly competition's good. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're giving. We'll give you guys. You're about words. Ah. And then you have to say the equivalent in English. Ah. But then there is no unison. You, if you if once the once I once we say the word, you, mm, and, you know it just say it. Just say it. Oh, okay. The winner for losing this. is the only person that will go on with the Suya Plata. Wow. And luck. And shout out to J Sport Suya. They came correct. Collaborating with us on this episode, providing the refreshment. I think seven left we call it and they got Miss London. As you can see, everyone was digging in. Everyone enjoyed the Sriya. Come for food. So, guys, check out J-Sports Sriya. The Sriya was amazing. J-Sports Sriya offers you different kinds of options. They have the beef platter. They have the chicken platter. They have the lamb platter. There would be a link in the episode description. So, go order yourself some Sriya. Now, back to the episode. Don't skip. Ah, from J -Sports. Oh, <laughs> I mean, was for all. Well, that's what call they call Tiva. Tiva, not Oja. I thought the Sriya was for everybody. No, 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 no. That's what the people that, what, that wanted to do the promo said. Okay. That what? That we have to go person, to the person who yeah, won. Yeah, the person that won the game. Everyone was gonna guess them. Mm. <laughs> you can ask the winner though. The winner. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Should we get into it. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Who wants to go first? I will go first. Okay. Igimu. Oh. <laughs> Even me, I don't know that no, part. I <laughs> I've heard that recently. Igimu. Can you put it in a sentence? Um, <laughs> Igimu Gino Sorry. Igumu Gino Sorry. Igimu. Someone said that in a TikTok recently, right? <laughs> Is this, uh, okay, that's, 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 a song, remember, that's, that's a song lyric. Igimu. But you, that's, you should know this. Yeah, I know, I know, it, I know it now. Now that you've used it in a sentence. Alright, cool. Yeah. My 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 yeah. Yoba, my pronunciation might not no, be the best, fine. but so Igimu. Yeah. Igi imu. Wow. And what's the something sentence? Like something Igi imu jino si ori. Mm, I know Igi imu jino si ori. Something yeah. is far something from your head. Is far head or something. So what Igi imu is the word. Yeah. Five, four, Ah, three. Alcohol. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, three. The drink. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So Igi imu is this, like this. The nose bridge. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I only knew that because of a song still, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so the second one, I'll go, I'll go next. Italawa. Outside. Well. Oh, we're outside. outside. Yeah, okay, man. she said it first, so she's got one point. Hey, ah. come on. Kokoroni no shokoto. Say again. Kokoroni no shokoto. Something in the trousers. Something is in the trousers, ants. Yeah. yeah oh. that's, that's a lyric, right? One, one yeah. inch. I can't Aka, so. do you want to go again? The <laughs> Atarodo. Oh, 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 you guys are not even Be being competitive. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, I said Scotch bonnet. That's what I know it should be. It's Scotch bonnet. She yeah. said it first. Okay. You didn't lot. <laughs> but big bump. Yeah, okay, yeah. True. She's got two points. Ooh. Who's next? Ah. Go on. Ah. Eh? Ala Jota. Ala Jota. Something is. Ala Jota. Ta. Yeah. Ala Jota. Something is hot. No, that's what I thought. It's far from me. I don't think it's dancer. I don't think you can break it up in that way. It's, da oh, it's a dancer. It's a dancer. Uh, yeah. But there must be another word for it though. A da dancer in Yoruba. I like Jota. Yeah, you dance for a profession. Uh, so, so oh, dance. Yeah, I like Jota. Uh, okay. No, but Ta, what is Ta? You yeah. sell dance. Dance is your promotion. Um, right. uh, oh, Ta, Ta, Ta. Yeah. That was a good one. That was fair good enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. It kind of rhymes with it. I want more meta. 
Oh, three the three children. children. Oh, I'm giving oh. you an easier one. Yeah. Who said that? Who, who Me, got it? Like, who, who got uh, the answer? I think I heard it from you first. Oh, okay. Mm. okay, so that's two. Then one. Two, one, one two. Two. Ah, two, two, one, two. Two, two one, two. two. One, two. Oh. Ah. <laughs> are you there? <laughs> are you there? <laughs> so we'll do, a couple, we'll do a couple more. Like okay. Three more, okay. one each from everybody. Okay. So okay. everyone has a chance to catch up and win. Okay. Igbeya <sighs> wo. Oh, you pick up your wife. No. Pick up your wife. Pick up your wife. I think Bay. I'm will. sorry. I'm, it's not. I'm not laughing at you guys. No, no, it's no. Like you can laugh. It's yeah. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, wait, wait, is it? Oh, I thought you said Bay. No, no. Igbeya wo. So, so yeah, Igbeya wo. No, I don't know that one. Igbeya wo. What's that? One share Igbeya wo. They're collecting their wife. No. Bride they're, price. They're no. doing like they're doing wedding. Something. Yes, the wedding in Yoruba is Igbeya wo. Oh. Yeah. So why is that did, so funny? Man, man had that, wedding, that but man makes... didn't do that one day, bro. No, because she said they carried your wife. Your, but <laughs> you to carried... me, that like no, but when okay, but when you're yeah. having, yeah. when you're having a traditional yeah. wedding, the Alaga will say Igbeya will as in yeah. pick but up your wife. He said Igbeya will. Yeah, but I yeah. thought okay, he so said. Oh, he does say that. No, no, no. But what does the Igbe mean? That bit. Collect your wife, like pick. It's that's the name of your wife. Yes, collect your wife. No, it's not. It's not. It's wedding. Wedding doesn't mean collect your wife. That's what it means. What? Yeah. Oh, so wedding means collect your wife. Yes, that's what they told me to do. No, collect no. your wife. English. <laughs> that's English. English. What does wedding mean? Oh. Collect your wife. But what I'm saying is that would actually, to me, that sounds like the direct translation. Yes. Like, what? Well, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that is the. That is wife. direct. But it just means like you know how like in Yoruba like it's not really a direct. Yeah. 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 Wedding, it's collect your wife. Ah, the way that paper. The way flew. the paper flew. I thought we were even talking like a... about turtles. And yeah. <laughs> no, it's because it's because she said carry your wife. That's, yeah, but that's, that's basically what it means. But though, when bro. you're if, at... if you no. literally lift her up, but collect your wife. No, yeah. that's not what it, it just means. Wedding. Wedding doesn't mean collect your wife. So that's what's the wedding? I know then? it now. A What's a traditional is, is union, wedding? The union of two people. You're not connected. No, but anybody. no, but you're, the, nah, the, you're the, not the direct answer. translation of is, that. What is it? But you know that Yoruba doesn't necessarily always translate. To... So why are we playing this game? <laughs> no, no, oh. it's, it's just like yeah. a good one. But it's just mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wife, I okay. get what he's saying. No, I get what he's saying. Your You're right. It's, it's collect just... your wife. Okay, ah. we'll see. <laughs> collect your wife. <laughs> the, 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 way, the way the thing spread on the floor, like Sharon said, yeah. maybe we're talking about turtles or something. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. collect your wife. You're right. Um, oh, anyway, you're right. Shara. You're about people that don't know how to speak Yoruba. Don't feel discouraged. No, no, no. We're not We're just trying. We're just trying. What's happening? It's Igbeya wo. That's that's what wedding is. No, Igbeya wo. One she Igbeya wo. One she wedding. I'm gonna ask my mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, so are you saying okay, well, is there no word for that's wedding? What, that's There's no. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. word. It's it's word. It but that would be yeah. more of a traditional wedding. Traditional. But in Yoruba, Tra there's no. There's no traditional or white wedding. It's just wedding. Igbeya wo. That's collect your wife, man. You're right. Because yeah, that's fine. Just okay. before this, after the ceremony you is finished, they'll carry the wife. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen Sorry, yo. Yeah, Trust my boo. Do they still carry <laughs> the wife? Do they still carry the wife? Do they still carry the wife? Essex Rays. They still go for 30 December. Sorry. They still carry the wife. Ever so sorry. You can't do <laughs> no, there's one more. Oh, there's one more, but yeah. There's okay, she won, she won, she won. Give us one more hacker. Okay, um, what's one more? Um. Okay, Amotan. She's fat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's pretty. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, pretty yeah. yeah. So two. I'm a, I'm a so we need to find a winner between them. She won. No, they both have three. How do you decide between three? <laughs> We can share the suya jar. Yeah. Okay. Sharing I'm sharing with her. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's lobbying. Exactly. He's lobbying for suya. That's why he said she won. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Boom, boom. So who's the winner then? They, she they're said. Both. She said it don't mind sharing. So yeah, they're both winner. Okay. Hey, yeah. We're all winners. We know. Oh. Okay. They we know. We know. We sing a lot. Yeah, we sing a lot. Singing is good, man. Singing is good. Yeah, it's good. Are you all friends? You're all friends. Yeah. 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 
Like, <laughs> I mean, like, away from the podcast. Ah, like, yeah, so yeah, they are like serious friends. Years. Wow, friends enough to, like, travel and all of that. Serious yeah, friends. Yeah, we're going away in three days. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 we're, going away. Nice. we're going away next week. Where yeah. are you going? Uh, DLT, DLT Malta. Malta. Oh, come on. Have you been before? Yeah. yeah. We went last year. No more bear. We went to in March. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Girls' holidays, guys. You guys have been on multiple holidays, I believe. Have you had? Because they say they they say they say holiday makes and breaks friendship, a girl friendship, girls' mm. friendship, right? Mm -hmm. What do we think of that? Do you agree? I haven't mm. had any issues. Yeah, I personally haven't had any issues. No. I can say that. I understand why though. I feel like just generally when there's like, especially if it's like a party holiday, like if there's drink, mm. if it's sunny, sometimes you can get a bit too you know what I mean, rowdy mm. and then start getting a bit offensive. But then I feel like if you guys are real friends, you come back and be like, oh, okay, cool. It was just the, like, yeah, it, was just, yeah, it was just yeah. the vibe. Like it was just off, so, yeah. but it's all good. Like you don't actually need to bring it, the problems back mm -hmm. to the UK. Or whatever happens in the holiday season. Yeah, man. Hmm. Yeah. Basically. Hmm. <laughs> Basically. Why is it? Because something has been going on in social <laughs> media and they were talking about girls going to Marbella mm -hmm. and uh, all of that. All of that. I, I love Marbella still. Yeah, Marbella's lit, man. So what, What's your take on that though? Yeah, yeah. What? What? Like I've girls going to Marbella in, in, in and relationships. And cheating on, yeah. In relationships? What? Ah, well. Ah. <laughs> half, of the fr half of the friends that went to Marbella were in relationships and they all came back. Yeah. Yeah, ah, yeah well. that's not our people. Yeah. Just yeah. I just came back from Marbella. Oh. So what did you see? You're married though, so it's different, no? Yeah, no, but I went there for work. Okay. <laughs> what do you kind do? Of, which kind of work? <laughs> I went there for work. Same what kind of, what do you do for work? I'm a host. So okay, I okay, hosted okay, a couple okay, events okay. out there. Okay. Oh, but nice. um yeah, going out there, I was like, I wouldn't go back there still. I don't think I wouldn't I wouldn't want my missus to go out there. Really? Why not? Yeah. You mean at all? Yeah, like What's wrong with my bear? Uh -uh. My bear is is it's lit. But me personally, <laughs> I wouldn't want my missus to go out there Why still. Why did you go? To my bear. Yeah, yeah no, but, but where? My yeah, where? Where's so I crazy? Went back holiday, so the bank holiday weekend. Yeah, it's yeah. different out there. Bank holiday. Not, bank holiday weekend is 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 lit. It's but lit in my bear. What's so different to that versus her going out for a lit bank holiday weekend here, where you've got back to back DLT recess, all of that stuff? Mm. What's, yeah. Yeah. Um, one is like. I don't think. Let me not put myself in trouble. Mm. Yeah, let nah. me not cast myself. Don't on say about internet. you. I just talk about other in people. General, yeah, oh, in general. In uh -huh. general, no, I don't. I don't. It's it's crazy, <laughs> man. Talk about in general. <laughs> <laughs> Generalize it. It's it's nuts. It's nuts because, in a sense of, one, the stigma behind my bay already is crazy. And like I said, me, I, I wouldn't go back out there if I wasn't working because it's just crazy. But the women, really? what, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me Do personally, people not have self control. Yeah. I don't know because what I, that's, that's, there's some videos I've seen. There were some girls were begging to get behind like the boots of a sprinter. They were packing them. I, I, I don't don't see, see, I don't see those, are, those are like young girls. No, 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 no. They're not that's, young girls. But that's what they're I'm saying. Not now, young girls. Now, now, now my the video used I saw. to be for the adults, though. It used but to be, but now it's, it's a lot younger. Do you get what I'm saying? There's 19 year olds. When you say, yeah, but that's still an adult, like. 19? Yeah. Yes. That's, that's 19's an adult, but they're young. So what's, an, an, what's an adult? Adult is like 23. Ah. 19, you're still a young thing, man. Okay, maybe, wait, so adult, so maybe, maybe post uni. Well, you, post uni. No, but. Okay. You're not an adult. When you're 18, you're an adult. You're an adult, you're an adult. <laughs> 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 you're an adult Kevin? You're an adult 19. <laughs> Yes, you can make decisions for yourself. When, when like, you're you can, 18, you're you an adult. You can pay for your holiday by yourself. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, age. you're an adult on paper, but I feel like when you've lived more life, you deep that actually- like, You're not an adult. You weren't an adult yeah. then. Like mm. when I think about that, some, like, I'm not saying that I was irresponsible at 18, but I'm just saying mm. that there's a lot of decisions I probably made at 18 that I wouldn't make now. No, yeah, I know, but if they were to hold you accountable, at 18, yeah, that's what I'm saying. On adult. paper, yeah, you but, are an adult. but at the end of the day, everyone like I understand when you're when you're younger, you make stupid decisions. But that's just growing up. But yeah, you're still an adult. Yeah, yeah, no, that's mm. what I said. On paper, you're an adult. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, what are you with me? Yeah, like, I think so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know where you're going. You're <laughs> no, talking I'm just about my and No, but I'm just no, but there's, don't with. don't you believe in when you're in a relationship? I just believe anyway. There's certain places that if you're in a relationship, that like, okay, cool. Okay, can you explain like mm. what kind of places? Mm. You don't have to say the names of the places, but describe the. Like, please the, say the name like of the places. Like a party holiday. <laughs> a party holiday. If you're so in like a DLT. So like a DLT. No, I, I ain't been DLT, so. No, but I'm asking. DLT, you said the party holiday. So like, so DLT, what's that? Yash. Eh? According to people that way. 
It's all in your It's not all I saw yash. the videos. It's, <laughs> yes. But obviously, you're just wearing, you're wearing bikinis <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> you're a pool party. You're going to wear a bikini. Yeah, because no one's with, wearing a turtle. No one's wearing a turtle. Like, <laughs> right now, I think it's in August because approaching you 30 degrees. you freaked out if somebody's wearing a turtle. <laughs> yeah, you'd be shocked. Oh, definitely. But what I'm saying is not to like, um, I'm not objectifying women or anything. Mm. It's... <laughs> for 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 people mm. that are going, mm. it's like a showroom, and I've seen. It's not even showroom. I've seen. Like, no, yeah, I, I, the way people that's, the that's way nice people speak you. about it, they're shop. Girls are shopping for guys, and guys they're shopping for women. That ah. are, ah. That's what. Not that's you know, like, that's, I'm, like, that, go, I'm going there to have a good my time. Girls. Yeah, with my, my girls. girls. We went last year. Because nobody you know, was shopping. Nobody, nobody was, was putting on a showcase. Yeah, uh, everybody was just having shop. Window. Nobody. Okay, was how about how about the girls? There girl? was no window shopping. There was no oh contactless. But to be honest, there was none though, of that. To be honest, how about though, the girl think... that went and she came and Amonzo? She spent only five pounds and she went and she came back. Yeah, but that's uh, that's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's, oh. The guy's not offering to pay. Uh, but anyway, when we go to Nigeria, do we not sometimes that, come back with more, more money, money than, than we go? Than go. Yeah, that's not, that's Nigeria. People, ah, people, sorry, bro. That's no. Nigeria. People uh, give you money in Nigeria. Uh, people dash money in Nigeria. Just like yeah, people like, dash money at party holidays. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. It's like you're opening yourself to a to a. How do you even call this? Give me a word, please. I need a word. You're open, but you're just opening yourself. Like I wouldn't. When you say opening yourself, you mean just clothing wise? Yeah, just being there. Just like, I'm a guy in it. So if I was single, I'd know that if I see a girl that is looking good, I'm going to try and talk to you. Okay. But I don't, then want, the person I don't want someone to have the wait, opportunity wait, 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 to wait, even wait, try wait, and wait. talk to you. I'm hey. lost because are you trying to say now that she has to be in a bikini for you to find her attractive? No. Exactly. But that's, so but that's you what could just holidays... find her attractive on the streets of East London here. But that's different though. Why is Why? that? Different? That's, that's different because, okay, you're, you're walking on the streets of East London. We can't help that. But if you're going to a party holiday... Are you just these, saying that there's a lot of choice there's there? A lot, there's, there is a, it's, it's like a... There's, there's, a, there's a lot of room for, situation. for, Which is for fine. situations Maybe to happen so that you may not want to... There's a lot of understanding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of understanding. Can I ask something? No, I understand. I understand. Tr- guys, I'm not hit riding. Me, hit me, hit me, I'm not, hit me. Let's I'm not go. riding with the wrong team. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. Strong. Wrong, 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 wrong. No, I'm just saying. I understand what he says. That in that environment, yeah, there's you already know the oh, yeah, amount yeah. of people that's going to be there. Yeah, so already you know that. Okay, if I go there, there's going to be about let's say on average. 10 to 15 guys that you might find attractive. Or yeah. 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 Or in, that's in, trying in, to talk to you. Or trying to talk to you in that environment, which is fine. That. But at the same time, I don't really see how someone in a relationship could not be in that environment. If you are, if you're truthful, if you're honest with yourself and if you're secure in your relationship, if you're only going there to have though, fun, I then think, I fine. think guys and girls actually holiday differently. Mm. Like having some, to some of no, let's say, let's yeah, say yeah, us. No, no, I don't sorry, think that's so. a generalization. Let's, let's say us. No, yeah, that's a generalization. But having spoken to some of my guy friends, like who are now in relationships, they are, they're like, they wouldn't go to Malta, DLT Malta, for example, because the reason that they were going to like the DLTs and the Afro Nations and stuff like yeah, that. Before so, so that means it's right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, I, but, I wasn't working, but I the way that. girls, but girls are completely different. Like uh, uh, girls are worse. <laughs> no, 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 not all no, girls. No. There, was no. time, there was once upon a time where it was guys, guys, guys. But right now, I feel like girls have taken over. We give it to you, love, man. Round of applause. Oh, <laughs> God. Maybe, maybe you guys, maybe you're, so you're saying no. you went, when you guys we went to, you, um, what's it called? <laughs> My bear. You didn't Mabe. see girls that were just like moving they went mad. They went mad. We went mad. No, we didn't go. We didn't go. We went off season. Off season. Yeah. Off season. Calm. Yeah. When you're going back holiday. What I was seeing on socials, Yo. I can, like grown women, they're begging the guys, let's get but the boots desperate. of the... That's but your girl that's... can never be... If your girl's that, then you shouldn't even be No, but that's her. what I'm saying. Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> it, <laughs> might take, it could take that holiday for her to be like that. Okay, and then if it is, then wouldn't yeah. you want to know? Wouldn't I want to know? Yeah. yeah Prevention like is better than cure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Prevention is better than... I feel, I, like, I feel like living a life like that must be difficult. No, living yeah. a life like... What, 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 and it must what, be sad. No, yeah. no I, th- I think it's, it's exciting for some people, though. <laughs> that, that what? Some girls. It's exciting doing that on holiday. See, exactly. In it's a relationship true. or yeah, out 100%. of a relationship? No, out of a relationship. People that's that, fine, but he's talking about relationship. It's even more exciting in a relationship. relationship. In this lot. Oh, no, yeah. that's crazy. Let's call a spade a spade. Like, 
it's, it, it, I mean, I don't okay, find that. I don't find that enticing. I have principles. No, I have morals. Yeah, no. So, yeah, but some people don't have principles. And, and then, yeah, therefore, you don't want to be with that person. It doesn't yeah. do that anywhere. It doesn't yeah. do that anywhere. It, 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 it takes Eden or like yeah, sister Eden. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Literally, to like flipping fly out to Spain to find out that she's like that. Like, yeah, man. In Spain, she's like that everywhere. Yeah, and I don't know. I feel like girls love hard. Like, if the guy's a real guy, girls love hard. As long as you're coming through, if you're if you're if you're already doing dingling dangly, hey, some things are a bit rocky. That's your own. Maybe you need to pattern your own house. But if your relationship is good, I don't feel yeah. like most girls will give you a reason. I feel like it's only if yeah. you give them a reason. I just know, but I just feel like even even so, in a relationship, there should be boundaries. We should know where we should. Oh yeah, be going, but I don't think the boundary means don't I go don't on holiday. Think party party so, party holidays like that should be enough, somewhere actually, that someone yeah, in a relationship should be attending. Boy, all girl. Okay. Some people have different. Some people are okay with it. Some people are just. Like me, if I if I was in a relationship, I'd be okay with it. I wouldn't. If I was married. Oh shut up! You saying stuff for the camera now? (laughs) No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying stuff. I'll be fine with it. But I just know. Married, you'll you'll be okay for your wife to go. go. But what I'm saying is, I know. (laughs) What happened to Trump? Whatever is done in the dark will come out in the light. Literally, literally, yeah, literally. Wait, so sorry to dwell on this topic. So if your girl, uh, like let's say she has like a group of friends or whatever and one everyone else is single apart from your wife mm-hmm. um and they want to go on holiday for like a birthday or something to like dlt or like marbella are you saying that out of the group of like 10 friends she should stay behind because why in f- fact why are you with 10, f- 10 single friends <laughs> wow. that's uh-huh. the first thing 10 ah okay sorry are you guys married here no me i'm, I'm not married. you're the only married one right? i'm married yeah. yeah so is he not chilling with you single people I didn't say I was single. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah, no. I say single. This I mean, one is I mean, like, I'm married. Oh, oh, on paper. I'm talking this about one is signed, 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 <laughs> and delivered. No, no. I'm yours. I'm just That's saying. It's yeah. very, it's very. For me, it's very weird. There's a group of ten girls, and none of you have no boyfriend, no relationship. No, we're not saying married. married. Oh, you mean married? Oh, okay, I mean my bad. Unmarried. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, oh, so... Yeah. <laughs> Will you tell her that she can't go on the girls' oh, of course. I wouldn't, I see, that's the thing. I wouldn't tell my wife that you can't do anything. I expect you to understand <laughs> and know what's, what's, what's... Let's say it went good. above her head and she didn't think you'd have an issue with it. And she's like, oh, babe, like, I've booked this thing. We're going She's to my... booked it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> when you said that, you won't tell her... Yeah, no, so if it's gone above her head and she's booked it already without consulting me... Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So then... what? let's say oh, wow. let's say that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> be honest... <laughs> She's not going. <sighs> Should be our paid bride price. <laughs> oh my god! I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No. He's joking. Um, he's joking. <laughs> I just, I know. This is what I'm saying. Um, I'm, uh, I'm fortunate to not be in that situation where my my missus has, you know what I mean, friends that are in relationships and understand where that. I don't expect your single friends to to invite you or bring you out, draw you out to do things that single people do. But it's the same way, for a birthday, the same way, birthday trip. The same for way, a birthday. So for a birthday trip, we could go anywhere. You you it's lot could go anywhere. Birthday. You want to go Marbella for it. I'm like, because like I said on the flip side, I don't just say this for the female side. I say it for myself as well, in terms of there's things that I need to calculate and understand that okay, cool, I'm a married man, I shouldn't be here, or mm. not even that I shouldn't yes. be here, but I wouldn't put myself in a position where I'm here or so mm. yeah. I don't I don't I don't do the I can do this and you can't do that. No. Okay. Before I even think of something, I think, would I want my missus to tell me that I can't go here? No, I wouldn't. So why would I tell her that she can't go there? Mm-hmm. That's how I think. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, that's the relationship I have. I, I would think before, should I be here as a married man? If my answer is no, then I won't go. Do you go out clubbing? With, like, would you go out clubbing with your missus? Would be, I go? Yeah, 100%. So you guys both enjoy, like, would you say, sorry, not to make it personal, but do you like, both enjoy partying? Not really. Be your but host. I, so I, as a host. Exactly, I do it as a job. Yeah. Like every weekend. I'm I feel at. like it's slightly different. I feel like the hosting as well probably impacts you a bit differently. Yeah. I do hosting like after this, I'm going to host. Yeah. I do hosting every Friday or Saturday, but if I could be at home, I'd be at home. And I'd be like, maybe, I don't know if marriage has done that to me, but yeah. yeah. But my missus don't go out anyway. She don't like going out. So uh, I'm blessed yeah. in that sense as well. Do you uh, know what I'm saying? If she was no, outside. <laughs> what, what was the problem? Was the problem? Ah, no, right, I don't co- get into married people's business. I don't know. Nah, it it no, 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 no. Marriage is a, it's a unity thing. It's a, it's yeah, you have no, to both it's a, you, you guys are on the same page, and that's great. Yeah, no, 100%. Of course. Signs of delivery. I'm yours. Yeah, baby. Woo. 
I ain't going yeah. nowhere, baby. Right. To come away from that topic. Yeah, please. Please, <laughs> please, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's come back. So something, something happened to me recently. I've seen, seen that we're all Nigerians, yeah. Mm. I just wanted to ask for like everyone's point of view. Okay. I was... I went over to someone's place. It's not recently, though, so the timeline is matching. Person's nah. <laughs> listening. Ah, 2021. <laughs> this has been so I went over to someone's place. I went. I had a shower. Ah, but I did. Did you shower time. in your own house? Sorry. No, no. Like I was, I was spending the night there. I oh, was spending okay. the night. Okay. So I had a shower, and mm -hmm. then I come out of the shower, and then they asked me like, "Oh, like, they." <laughs> the person asked me. Oh, they, oh sorry. Yeah, ah, more than one. Both of the same. <laughs> no, the person, you know the now everything they them. They are. Wow. They, they, wow. they, 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 they are. The person they asked me. They are. They are. The person asked me like, oh, like you didn't come with like a sponge, like so. What did you do? So, ah. so that means you just rinsed your body. Ah. I like. She said you didn't bath basically. So I was like, <laughs> normally in the morning I'll like use my sponge, but then in the evening I'll just like shower. Shower. We call it shower as Nigerians, and I'll wash my pri like private yeah. areas and my shit. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Let's move on. Yeah. So <laughs> I wash. Do that. And, and then the girl was like, "Oh, it's a Nigerian thing. You guys only um, use the sponge in the morning, and then in the evening you just rinse your body. That's what she. That's what she said. Uh -uh. So how do you? How do you, I wanted to ask for you? How do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I'm with her because you said you just go under the water in the evening. Yeah. Is that, not a rinse? Is that not a rinse? So yeah, but what, he what also you he uses, uses soap. Oh, yes. Yeah, soap you know, and your hands. Soap and yeah, and my hand, like, but I would use the sponge. To oh. just crunch everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. I think that one. It's just brother, me. it's just you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's wait. No, it's only his Wednesday because for my step in the bath, the sponge, the sponge is, is there. Yeah. 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 The the two minutes, one minute. The yeah. 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 I, know, I understand if you're saying you I forgot you your. Though, if, if, if you went somewhere, you forgot, forgot your, you forgot your, your sponge. sponge. Yeah. Obviously, that's fine. That's fine. But no, that's like, your night. sponge is there. You're looking at your sponge face to face. And I said, I'm not using you today. That's why I'm not using you tonight. I'm tomorrow morning. I'm not. I'll take everyone in the showers twice. Yeah. 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 So in the morning. You use the sponge, like, mm -hmm. and then in the evening again, you use the sponge. Yeah. Every time I enter that bar, I never got my my Oshie do do is in a plastic. Night. What did you say? You use it all that night. Yeah, now ah, after you've done the whole day, I hear you. That's when you're really ah. Yeah. And again, and if you're, sh and and if you're seven a.m. again in the morning, yeah. I sponge it again. Uh, uh, but it doesn't take loads of time. Why the same effort Wait. you're doing? You're just using rather than using your hands. I just feel like you're, you're just using the sponge. You're just uh, exiting himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, yeah, when she said it was a Nigerian thing, I thought I was going. No, to ask. It's oh, a you no. thing. No. It's, yeah. a, it's not a me yeah. thing. I know. I know other people that do it too. I'm sure Debo wanted to say it. I know other people. So what do you want to say? You up? No, 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 no. no, I know other people that do it too. So that's yeah, that's interesting. I shower religiously. I like yeah, she showers. I, it's a lot. unbelievable. So you can't really slept over at a partner's place. Without showering, my sponge. I have a sponge there. Yeah, when I come back for the motive, I shower because I use the shower to take off my makeup. I'm saying after I'm emotive, after a motive and I've come work. back to my. Um, no oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's not like oh, that. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not, not, like not showering. Yeah, cool, right. no, I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm going home. Going home. I'm not yeah. sleeping yeah. there. So the first time you sleep there, you come with sponge and everything. Yeah. 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 What the heck? So it's just maybe it's just. So how will I even sleep with my makeup on? Take it off yeah. with wipes, innit? Nah, we don't do wipes. That's what, yeah, we don't use wipes, man. Sorry, no. We use balms, you see? Yeah, you I use balms. wipes, but I, at the same time, no, I've already, I'm what's, not what's sleeping. What's balms? A, it's like a cleansing a balm. It's a cleansing balm. Take off, melt Take off, melt melts the makeup. So you put that on first? Yeah, you, yeah and then you use a And then use a washcloth to wash it off. Is this all while you're in the shower? But you can do it in the shower. You can do it in the shower, you can do it before. Do by the sink. Just rinsing. Rinse, serious rinsing. Rinse the face. But yeah, bro. Yeah, your own. Please that's don't correct her before she start thinking all Nigerians are smelling. Yeah. That's not the case. Though. But I'm not, I don't smell. I'm just, I'm just no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's different. She didn't say, she just said, she's obviously. I thought it was just in the evening. Just yeah, like yeah. the evening. Yeah, it's only the evening. Just, she's looking at you. Who's even smelling you, man? Like, do you know what I mean? No, I obviously, I want, I want to start using sponge now since it's just me. Oh, okay. Because she said, another Nigerian, she's like a friend. Yeah. She's like Sorry, female. Where's she from? Isn't it? She's Congolese. Oh. Yeah. So she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, no, she's, she, she, she <laughs> also <laughs> showers religiously. Did she shower as well? She showers religiously, uh, cool. like sponge, um, soap, everything she does. Like she's used like one sponge hour. Sponge and soap. You think? <laughs> Sponge and soap. She showers religiously. Sponge and soap. What soap do I use? Uh, what's he called? Imper- Imperial leather. Of course. Really? Um, yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's, now, that's why you don't always Nigerian use your sponge. That's, that's Nigerian. That's Nigerian. Nigerian. That's, Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, that's why you don't always use your Yeah, that's a bit drying. <laughs> I use, what's, I, what, what's, wrong with, what's wrong with Imperial Leather? No, I that's just feel like it's a bit dry. Man. It's a bit dry. <laughs> that's that. It's a bit dry. That's the fault. So what do you use? I use Osha Dudu. Ah, really? That's so Nigeria. drying. That is even more dry. That's even more dry. That's, that's the best. That's the best. Yes. What do you use? You what, put, do you use? what do you use? Oh, I use like um, at least two to three. Ah, what? <laughs> like two to three so different types of So when I said this person I'm talking about, what, 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 what so you I might use Sanex, which is 0%. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I basically use like most times fra- like fragrance, fragrance free. free yeah. mm. So I use Sanex, then I'll probably use a Dove. Then and then sometimes, rituals. then yeah, sometimes Probably rituals, rituals depends because of the smell. Yeah, and then obviously then face face wash as well. Like mm-hmm. that's why I use I use CeraVe or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so ah. how long do you shower for? Yeah, not that long. Maybe like ten minutes, fifteen minutes ah. max. That's like a proper like. 15 oh, minutes, yeah, yeah, but 10 minutes. Yeah, when you've gone out on a night out and you've worn makeup, no, the what, time what about of... just normal shower? That's normal shower. That's normal shower. Mm. Yeah. So what's the, what do you use? You, what you what's it say? called? Um, Radox or whatever. Mm. I, I, I use that. I use that as well. Mm. Ah, Some, sometimes it's sometimes I use it based on how I feel. <laughs> okay. If it says revitalize and I feel like I need to be revitalized, <laughs> then I'll use it. Yeah, I use that. Like, sometimes <laughs> sleep. Sometimes, but now um, I recently went to went to Morocco, so I have like a. Okay. A scrub. Oh, and nice. I use, so I use that. And then obviously, daily wash, clean and clear. So nobody, you don't use wash at all? No. no. <laughs> I have it, but it's because it's, no, it's, like, it's too much. It needs too much. Too much, too yeah. much yeah. yeah. That's why I stopped. My, my thing is in a, And it in makes a, the bath a, black. No, no, not my bath. My, oh. my thing <laughs> in a case, in a container. Ah. Is it the prayer ones or no, it's just a regular no one? thing. I, I use my sponge to even grab it. <laughs> packed in this, this How about well. you showering? <laughs> it depends. Like if I'm showering to go out to mm. motive, then I'll get out my scrubs, <laughs> my exfoliating gloves. Yeah. Mm. So I will first of all shower with my puff and like I'll use like a rituals or whatever shower. And then afterwards I'll then go in with the scrub and that leaves your body leaving very, like feeling very smooth. smooth. Smelling yeah. good. And then, then yeah, that's it. But if I'm just doing like a normal, I'm going to work or whatever, then it's just the quick rituals and out the shower. So you use the foam, not that the spongy one, the Nigerian one. Oh, I don't use that one. No, I, I use the Nigerian one. Yeah. I don't use the Nigerian one. No, what? The uh, Nigerian that one. That they sell in, in the yeah, African shop. Yeah. On the yeah. back of a door. Yeah. 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 I like it. It's some no. I think mine's a bit soft. Like I think it depends. Like you can get some hard ones. Mind games, man. What, you, make, you know when you're feeling it, but you feel like yeah. But do you not yeah, see <laughs> like after a long day? Do you not see like yeah, cool. water? Yeah. Uh, ah, I don't see anything. Wrong. Ah, ah, clean people. It's clean people. Even after, do you walk out? Yeah. No. no let me not stretch. I don't work out. <laughs> I don't work out too because, much. But I build up a sweat where I go. Ah, podcasting is not easy. As you yeah. talk, you're building yeah, up sweat. I do. Like if it's been like a very long day. Yeah. 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 If I'm yeah, like scrub, doing, you see like, the dirt. The yeah, ah, and you guys, are made, you want to now make us seem like. Every day. Right? That no, every day. Not, of course, it's not every day, ah, but sometimes. It's not. No. No. Definitely not every day. No. Definitely not every day. What about you, Alice? Oh, I use the glove. The glove scarf. Exfoliating glove. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and then I use Naturium because I've got... <laughs> oh, how is that? How is that? I can't lie, I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, what what she, like, sorry, what's she calling it? Nat- yeah. Naturium. Yeah. It's girl stuff. The, the Naturium. The salicylic acid. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> really? I heard that it's good for hyperpigmentation. That's what I thought. Hey. <sighs> no, I still got my dark marks and stuff. Oh, mm. no. I think it's how much is it? I think I got it for like twenty five pounds. Yeah, it's not cheap. Uh, Quite pricey. Twenty five pounds for soap, but it's a lot though. It's a, yeah, it's it is a lot, a while, but still. But I just, I'm not I getting it. I can't buy expensive soap until I leave that house. Yet. Uh, mm. Because the way then, my brothers will no, be using honestly, my stuff. That's the thing about honestly, you guys as well. Guys will just see a nice and thing in the shower. Just see, they don't even know that mm. you spent fifteen pounds on body wash. Yeah, yeah. they'll just be just I'm using it on their and on their face. Imperial leather is four pounds for yeah. four, for six. Well, you get a pound shot for a pound. That is so funny. Yeah, imperial leather. Wow. Someone said um, use because um, when like 
a month ago, mm. my face started getting level. dry. That's crazy. Mm. So oh, so it's dry. So you realize it's, it's, it's making it dry. It's not. It's normally it's not like just a month ago. No, I it's dry. Thing. No, it's not. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, go on. Go on. So mm. after like a, like a month ago, my face was getting dry. Uh-huh. Even after I used like um. Cream. Okay. Let oh. me just let me just let what cream, cream do you use? <laughs> the body share, share butter. No, 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 not share butter. No, no, what's in it? That one is, is popular. Is what no 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 not <laughs> sugar cream. Why not? Abido. No, no, the one in the white <laughs> container. Nivea. 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 Oh, Nivea. That's a good one. Nivea soft. You see? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, yeah. Welcome Nivea. to the club. Nivea <laughs> soft. That's the one that's soft. That's so good. that's one I the use. Tin one. It's like a little container it's, thing. Yeah, it's got yeah. a big container. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So you put that on your face as well? Uh, yeah, I use that yeah, on my that's face. Right, guys. Yeah, I can't that's a different that. one. Yeah, it's fine. Pretty green. It's better so than what anything. do you use? Yes, in Nivea. I use cocoa butter. Ah. That's good. No. <laughs> that's so I, I, used, I was using that one, and then she's it, my face was dry. Nivea. She asked me, Nivea how for many people. Do you exfoliate? I said, ah. <laughs> What's that? I'm just learning that word. Ah. What's that? I said, ah, I don't, I don't know. The last time I had, maybe like a year ago, mm. and then she eh? said, buy. She told me to buy. She, she ah, there's this chem, um set up, set up pill or set up feel. Oh, set up feel. Set up feel. Okay. Said, Till today, I haven't even. How do you guys use it? Like, ah, that one. I don't know. I don't want. I haven't heard too many good things about. It, I can't lie, mm. but um, yeah, there's like different types of things. Like if you've got like salicylic acid in it or something, then I think that's what is inside of it. But it's just, just like a normal, just like a washing, it's like a wash. You wash your just, face. It just feels like a normal face wash. Just wash your face and then rinse. Mm. That's it. I swear about CeraVe. I CeraVe's love CeraVe. A, yeah, I, CeraVe's I a swear. brand that we can CeraVe, recommend. But yeah, it's, it's a good, good brand. No, I swear. CeraVe's well, my face is back to normal now. And we so thank God for the ah. difference. It doesn't dry again. Amen. Ah, praise him. Mm, period level settings. <laughs> Come on, man. Do you think you should, maybe you should try something else other than I think you should try, I should do-do. Ah. I Where? think you should try something else. It's the best. If it's dry or... It's drying. I feel like that is quite dry. <laughs> African yeah. soap is the best. For girls, I these, I do, I'm, what, these I, I artificial remember, what, mixtures. Trust me. <laughs> then you have to wait for them to bring it from Nige for you every time. What I should do? do. Yeah. Yeah, no, but it gets... The, I've, I'm loaded, bro. No, you're loaded for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trust loaded. Me. <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust Can me. Can I ask, why do you use the African sponge? Did what? you grow up in Nigeria? No, I didn't. So, but, so I, what brought you onto it? I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? The, 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 the soft sponge don't do nothing. No, they do. They're they just do. as good. They don't do anything. I, I flex between the two. Do I don't, I don't think they do anything. Yeah. <laughs> so just follow up with our question. Did you? Did, did any of you grow up in Nigeria? No. No, we didn't. Spent time, really? like, time extensively in Nigeria? Uh, max, probably like two months. Wow. Why is that? Did you get sent back? No. <laughs> I, 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 I would think you grew up in Nigeria. No, no, no. It was like during the summer. I would stay there for like two months. Mm. Because the way like the intonations, the banter, I would think like you, you grew up in Nigeria. Ah, I get that a lot. No, I did not. <laughs> where, where in London did you grow up? I lived in East London until I was like 12. And then from 12, and then 12, I moved to Essex. Okay. Mm. So in terms of... But like, I, but me and my family, we used to go back to Nigeria a lot. Okay. As in, like, we missed the last day of school on the plane. <laughs> what was I, always, first... I always miss the Christmas plane because I'm <laughs> on the way to Nigeria. What was your first ever time in Nigeria? Ah. Do you remember? I've been going since I was, like, young, from before I can remember. Mm-hmm. I would see pictures of myself in Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, nice. Probably, like, what, three, four? Mm-hmm. Whereabouts in so, yeah. Nigeria? Lagos. Lagos, Yeah, okay. yeah, Lagos. What, what about you two? What's the question? Sorry. From Lagos, have you been to Nigeria? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. from Lagos, though, but okay, yeah. my family mm. live in Lagos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've been going. Well, I went first when, I don't know, I can't remember when I was really young. And then I didn't go for like a while. And then, yeah, I've been going more recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say the same say. thing. Yeah, I think I remember, I think my parents said that I first went when I was like two. Okay. And then we went a couple of times before then. And then just before I went to uni, Obviously, I feel like that's when I can really remember stuff. That's when I went to Nigeria. And then since then, obviously, okay, with everything going, we've been going like most yeah. December's now. And Lagos, everyone went to Lagos. Lagos and then like Thanks. some yeah. of the, you know. Do you, do like you to Shagam, I've been to Ilori. Are you all Yorubas? Yeah. 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 What are your Yoruba names? Olamide. Olamide. Oh, that's lovely. Oluwatami Oh, nice. Yeah. Ayomiko. Oh. Ayomiko. Ayomiko. Yeah. Serious name. name. So growing up with like Nigeria, any of your parents born here? Yeah, yeah, both of my parents. My were born here. Both of your parents were born. Sweet. Here. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Your mom was born here. Yeah, but she grew up in Nigeria. Yeah, okay. they went. They went back, but they were. Born yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how was that like? Like contrast, just contrast. Growing up under Nigerian parents, mm-hmm. 
in Nigeria and then growing up under Nigerian parents, yeah, for you mm. guys. I mean, like for you guys too, for you guys. I'll, for like me, I grew up in Nigeria. Mm. When did you come here? I first came here when I was 13. Okay. And then I went back after four years and I came back again four years ago. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Cool. What's the question? <laughs> so I was growing up with like Nigerian parents okay, in so the growing UK. Up, growing up, growing up with Nigerian parents yeah, in yeah. the UK. Yeah. Um, I would say it's very different because I don't think they kind of understood our growing up in the UK, as in being a British Nigerian mm. and then growing up in the UK. Because obviously they wanted to, they wanted to inflict that whole um, oh this is how we were this is how we were this is how we grew up this is how we were brought up. And stuff like that, but I think they didn't really understand how to explain it. So they were they were mean. born here but raised in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. So they were born okay. here. I think I think what happened, they were born here. I think my dad went back, but then I think my mum stayed for a bit, then went back, then came back again. Mm -hmm. So like my mum had like foster parents and everything when okay. she was here. Because their parents were studying okay. here. Mm -hmm. So that's why they were born here. So mm -hmm. I think my mum my on my mum's side, my mum and her brother. They were born here. And on my dad's side, him and his sister were born here. And they have other siblings, but I think they were all born in Nigeria. But the point I was trying to make is that I always found that there was always like a constant battle with, oh, this is how we, we do it back this home. This is how we do it back home. But then at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, I understand. We trying to honor you. But at the same time, it's like our experience is very different. Like we're growing up in a society where there's, it's not just Nigerians or it's not just black yeah. people. Like I think I had a conversation with my parents and another family, not like last year, where it was kind of like, we we're trying to explain to them some of the struggles that we had growing up. So they would, so they would understand where we were Can coming from. Can you mention from. some? Yeah, so things like racism. Right, okay. Most African parents that grew up in Nigeria or grew up any other part of Africa, they never really had to experience racism. Yeah. So I mean, they, only, I mean before, until they came here. No, but I'm saying growing up. So okay. okay. They, they wouldn't they wouldn't have experienced Even, racism. I feel like we, we said it, it was in our first episode, we also said it like for for someone like me that grew mm -hmm. up in Nigeria amongst black people, I like, I didn't really understand mm -hmm. the concept. And did you, the concept, did, yeah. And did you ever feel like you were black? Was, never, never. Like, that's that's how I said like it was yeah. just normal. It's to just me. normal. It's it was like, just it was when I came <coughs> to the UK, like as an adult, proper adult, that's like, okay, this guy is is mixed race. Mom or dad, like, is different. Yeah. But for, for me, it's like all of white mm -hmm. and black. Mm -hmm. And I'm living amongst black people. There's nothing mm -hmm. like racism or discrimination yeah. that didn't come like didn't come mm -hmm. into me until I started living properly in the UK. Yeah. And I started understanding like oh yeah. Like what what do they call that? Like, social nuances, like black people yeah. and, and all yeah. those kind of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had that conversation with my parents. And another what was family. their response to that though? No, they were receptive. Like they okay. were like, they, they, my parents always say that, yeah, we know sometimes we got it wrong, blah, blah, blah. We hope that. <laughs> At least your parents agree. I would, <laughs> my my parents parents are, I would to expect shut them up. to be quite understanding because they lived here for a while. Yeah, but it's, but they lived here for a while, but I can't lie, my dad still has the. What's your Nigerian? Nigerian, your Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, he still has it. Yeah. But I think growing up and then obviously. I know that their plan wasn't to stay here right. forever. They they just wanted to work here and then obviously go back to Nigeria. But I think them themselves working, seeing how people are, seeing, interacting with white people, Asian people, different type of people, they kind of grew an understanding understanding of what it is to 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 live in the UK, mm, if that mm, makes mm, sense. Mm, mm, mm. And at the same time as well, I remember when I was in school, my dad was very helped. Like he was very hell bent on me doing well, me going to uni, me doing all this stuff. But I, I wasn't really that academic. And I think I really, I don't want to say I tested him, but it was just quite, he, he, how do I explain it? He it basically learned from me that, that the there's whole academic, there's more to it than just academics. Like whenever someone like he has a friend that has a child that's going to uni or stuff, my dad will always say, well, just let them do what they like in uni because you don't want to send mm -hmm, them to mm -hmm. uni and then go do something and they come out with the third. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's I a swear. fail. Yeah, 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 no, sorry to anyone that has a third, but really and truly, like, <laughs> that's why they said... Hey, there's uni. nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but it would be very difficult. Does, there's nothing, not wrong, really. with, there's nothing wrong with a third. Not that's really. I like. know people that got a third are working in a great job. I'm not saying that it's working in a great... Uh, but it's, just, it's harder. It's there's harder. a stigma around it, yes. No, it's, no it's, it's, it's harder. It's harder. Mm -hmm. it is. In certain industries, it's harder. When you when when you go on LinkedIn or you look on Indeed and you're yeah. going and you're looking at a job description, 
they'll say requirements at least a two exactly. one. one yeah. That's yeah. how it is. I've never seen the, the most I've seen at least a two two. Mm. I've never seen at least a third. third. I've never. I'm sorry. So what? A third, you still graduate, isn't it? Yeah, you still yeah. Yeah. graduate. You still get a mark. You still yeah. graduate, but they basically. But when you go on, on the job market, they basically it's tell you, ah, well, <laughs> you have to walk your way up. Essentially. Yeah, that's like that's yeah. like when you go from that's, yeah. that's like when you go from sixth form or college to uni. If you don't get five A stars or a C, or you don't get maths and English, boy, you're doing that in. You have to do it again. You have to do it you? again. Mm. So are you now gonna say, oh, because mm. ah, no. You better go back to math. Yeah. <laughs> go and, go and get do it again, yeah. Not I me think, though, but... I think uni works for who it works for, innit? Mm. Basically. Yeah, mm. Definitely, yeah. Are, are your parents <laughs> quite similar? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's funny? What's funny? It works for it works for, you know? Yeah, you know but, what I, yeah. But, like, but, but, but I know, but let's be let's be for real. If you're if you got third in uni, I don't know, I feel like I mean, it depends. But I know people that's got... It depends. It depends. It depends. Like, say, for example, you can... If, say, you're doing something relating to IT, even if you, you got a third in uni and you have the skill, say, you're doing, like, coding or whatever, what, you, you have the... Peak. You have... What's it called? You've been doing it even whilst you're in uni. You're already working. You've got the knowledge. Yeah, yeah that's you know, the experience. Yeah, you're already, you, you've already worked on mm -hmm. projects with people mm -hmm. and you already have that network. Mm -hmm. You'll yeah, be able you to get to a good... Yeah, but you need to convince them. You need to... But also, it's not possible. Is, it's, it's not, not like... Okay, it's not... Like, sorry, so cut you off. It's not impossible to mm -hmm. get a job when you have a third. Yeah. But if we're being realistic, if you have 10 applicants, mm. three of them have firsts, five of them have two twos or two ones and then the rest have a third ah but, but do you but not you say you, you, do you're you not already limited and you would you would really have to prove yourself and i'm not saying and you're not proving yourself by saying you got a third at you yeah like you that's like, yeah, mad. like if you but, but if you actually think about it yeah i'm not being like judgmental i'm not putting anyone down i'm just talking about what it is that even as a black thing. person mm. already even if you have a, a first mm. you're already you're already challenged in the job field. So imagine yes. being black, mm -hmm. having a third, trying to get a job. You are going to be limited. That's just, mm -hmm. it's just plain and simple. There's no but way around it. But it comes to a it. point in one's career that your degree, your grade does not matter. Yeah, that's, when, that's, that's when you that's have a career. That's, that's, that's when you have a career. That's when you have a career. Right. You need exactly. to actually, first of all, get into the career. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. they only have your, your grade for yeah. you need to go off of. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, and work for experience me, if you've managed it. And for me, my first job, the requirement is, oh, we don't care what degree you have, but you need Just to have a degree and it needs to be at least What was your one. first job? I was a digital marketing analyst. Oh, nice. That was, the, that was my first job and out of uni and I, and I did my master's as well. And they said, you have to have a degree. Mm. It can be in anything. So they even said, okay, come as you are. But at least you have to have a two. -one. But yeah, guys, like me, my the prime team. minister of London has said, you do not need a university degree to be successful. What do you think of that? Yeah, but... Good uh, yeah. He didn't need to say that, though. But, but, he didn't need to but, say that. But, but, that's normal. And we know that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Just on that point, <laughs> there's a difference between not having a university degree and having a having university a degree and getting, and getting a third. third. Yeah. Mm. Those are two okay, different yeah. things. Wait, so two different things. things. Wait, a third sorry, is literally a third is literally between forty and fifty percent of your whole entire no, three not, years at uni. It's not. Oh yeah, it is actually. Yeah, mm. but you still graduate. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Still, you still graduate. You can still say you went yeah, to uni. Barely. <laughs> Yeah. But then if you, so I still feel wow. you have the right skill set. Yeah, you did you there. graduate? The right skill set. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> did you graduate? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he used graduate? to work in a bank. Yeah. Did you graduate? Yeah. You went to uni. Yeah. Yes, ah. I did. Ah. What? <laughs> 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 did you go to uni? I, I went uni, but like I stopped going. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What uni did you go to? What did you study? Birmingham. Um, events and business management. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I so realized. Why did, you, why did you stop going? Because I realized that I didn't need that to do what I'm doing. Were you doing well or you just. Do you want to do what? No, I'm just saying because. <laughs> yeah, me, would you find it easy? Did, did you find, find it hard? Did you find it easier to do or did you find it hard or you just didn't like it? I'm not being. Yeah, I, I, just, didn't, I just didn't feel it. Fair. And then they said they're going to stop uni, paying my uni fee. Though. I said, well, oh. no. As if, as if going to uni is never easy. Like No, but some people just find like it challenging, but it's still rewarding for them. But oh, if okay. you don't get yeah. any satisfaction, then... No, I just felt like the, the field that I was even trying to study in, it's like you could you could actually do that without going to uni. That's fair. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? You yeah. can actually do events and business management without going to get a degree yeah, in events sense. and business mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. If you're doing all... 
the physics and all of that other stuff, maths and English, cool. But mm. yeah, makes sense. Mm. So did we all graduate? Did you? Did you not graduate? Oh, yeah. These people that you're sitting here with, they are not small people, guy. They, they are they graduates say, with the very third, good jobs. The third, no, the I was gonna that, say the people that have thirds in the comment are gonna say, yeah, ah, no, I'm not. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not, no, not she... putting down anybody. <laughs> no, we're just, we're just saying we're the fact that something is harder than other people. I read an article that said, um, if you are a black person with a first, you are still white men with a two two, two is higher still than three you. times likely to get the job more likely to get, get a, job. a job see so, yeah, so imagine a black person with the third so sorry but you are it, going, to, going struggle. to be struggle yeah it's gonna and be tough saying things like oh skills as like eh, but what, what i'm saying that what i'm what i'm saying that is in, Without, in my job role mm. i'm very good at my job role but because, because now I'm black, in 2024 i graduated I like keep, nearly I how many like, years ago now it's a lot easier but you think saying, it's a lot easier now to get a job? Absolutely, yeah. Get skills, yeah, now. Yes, to get skills. You can yeah. do yeah. qualification. Yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. yeah. different type of courses. Mm -hmm. Course yeah. online, everything online. Yeah. Do you guys do podcasting full-time? No. No. We have full-time no, jobs. No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I was going to say, like, what were your parents' thoughts to you guys doing podcasting? Uh, as I Nigerian. Oh. Uh, I love it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think for us, it's just different because we all still work full-time. It's not okay. like we quit uni or came out mm. and first of all went into podcasting and we kind of like fell into it but we were doing it alongside our jobs and mm -hmm. stuff mm. so I feel like I don't know about the girls obviously they can speak for themselves but I feel like with my parents there was never really a concern because you're like doing, you're still yeah well. and also I'm yeah, very yeah. like I'm just very driven and ambitious anyway so like mm. that was just never a concern mm. but now that I want to do podcasting full-time and they know it they're like proper behind it like mm. they don't care because again they know who I am. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and also I'm a lot older now. I can make my own decisions. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I understand Like, typically uh, you would expect most parents to be like, ah, podcasting. What's that? What's, What's that? that? <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just, that's that's with everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, especially in podcasting. Also, yeah, that's that's my dad's also put in she show and see. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with show no <laughs> I don't have to explain to these people what yeah, it means. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like also, because of the way, you know how like our parents, I feel like they've now gotten used to the whole social media thing. So that like, they're yes. watching content, they're yeah. digesting they're, content themselves. Yeah, into what? the WhatsApp group. My mum will, yeah. yeah. will be sending me my TikTok. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So like they're kind <laughs> of also involved in a way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I feel like they kind of understand, oh, okay. And especially like, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes my parents might be a bit like, you know, so like they might be like, ah, oh yeah, this at this particular yeah, 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 yeah. Instagram, they're doing very well. Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. that they made two point oh, something no. million. Or, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so they're yeah. like, okay, cool. There's some yeah. sort of money there. I feel like <laughs> truly, if there was absolutely no money in podcasting, my parents would be. But saying, we wouldn't be doing it ourselves. That's what I know. I know, but I'm saying if it, for some reason I decided to now, <laughs> for some reason if I decided now I just want to be free with a free spirited chair. You know what mm. I mean? Like <laughs> my parents would be like, sorry, uh, but I ain't uh, funding your life, so. Yeah. Well, it needs doing. to make money, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But because my parents obviously know that it, these sort of things, you can we can make a career out of it. And like Sharon said, I feel like all of us anyway, we're very ambitious people. Yeah. yeah. Like when, again, when we started the podcast, we were all working full time. Like our jobs are really like they're still, good. Still working full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still working full time. Like our jobs are in good careers. So like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a massive concern for them. Yeah. And now they're like, they all came to our live show, for example. Oh, lovely. Um, they show support. They watch, they tune in. Yeah. Even though I'm the warranted even. My mum huh? yeah. will be like, hey, I saw you on another, another podcast. <laughs> Have they I ever three critical? boys. I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's own is shooting some wolf for me. Literally. That's all they care about. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying, you people, yeah. don't yeah. leave yeah. your job. Yeah. 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 Don't leave your job. Have they ever criticised any like episode? So oh like, yeah! What oh. was that about? So yeah, like, yeah. hundred. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. What do you mean? Really? Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think about like in particular, but one for me, but I, I'm very like opinionated. Opinionated, but also. I, to, I can talk about my past. Mm. So like, if I talk about my ex, obviously my parents know who my ex is. Right. Okay. So like, they would be like, ah. Didn't know that, that Didn't happened. know that. Or, oh, <laughs> so we're just airing out our business or, oh. Do you know what I mean? But then also my parents also do know that I'm a jokey person in general. So like, yeah. at the live show, they were obviously hear, hearing the banter we were making. They're like, ah. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If something's funny, it's going to be funny. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe the only one though, which I think is still now, which is normal and typical is what you wear. Mm. Do you know what Even I mean? Even at this age? Yeah, uh, because obviously, uh, that your parents never change, ever your no. parents. That's true. That Literally, will never change. That will never change. Maybe they'll talk a bit less. Does that happen for guys? Does that happen for guys? I would 
I got jeans that's ripped. If yeah, I got jeans that's ripped, my mum would be like, my mom, my mom never says mom anything about me. my dressing again. No, no, never. no, no. My really? mum yes. is on. That's guys been a long time ago. Guys are different, different It's different, yeah, but different my mum is still on me. If I wear ripped jeans, she's still saying, why you wearing ripped jeans? In Nigeria, I know, like, there's no girl, like, that dares bring a guy to their father's house. What about you guys? No. In okay. Nigeria, yeah. you will bring a, a guy yeah, you that yeah. you're seeing. Yeah. No, I, what, to do what? To introduce him to your... No, like, you're maybe in your, you're in, like, maybe you're, like, 18, 19, you're still living at home. Oh, okay, no, I, was, oh, I would have done to it be do, To be knackered. Sometimes. If, you, if the spirit, if the <laughs> spirit yeah, needs... Even at my big age, I'm not doing that nonsense. Yes, yeah, so no, you, no. have you guys ever brought, like, guys... I have brought, so I have brought a guy home. And you yeah. slept over? Yeah. You slept around, yeah. yeah. Jesus, yeah. you guys yeah. are... My, I remember, but no, I, I wouldn't do that at 18 before I went to uni. As in, yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't do that. No, yeah. I wouldn't do that back then. No, no, you brought the guy to your mum and your mum's house. It was her I've boyfriend. done that now, like as in, like my yeah. ex, I, like yeah, we'd come around and stay. How long? Were yeah, you I would do that with like, like two years, but even like the yeah. beginning part, like. I can't go. I mean, I, feel like I think our now, parents, it's, now it's calm. Now it is there. It's okay, it's calm. especially because they want us to get married. Yeah, so it's like, exactly. how are we going to do that? They want you to bring the person how home. They want to you. Yeah. So you guys, you take guys home, essentially, if you're in a relationship. <laughs> don't, oh, don't if I'm in a relationship, like I would 100 yeah. introduce them. I'll bring them around we my family. Take home, but just, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like the way that sounds. No, no, Invite girls. Just invite guys home. I would invite a guy to my house. I've now moved out, but like, I would still go back. Per. Per. I would still go back. And take a guy to my parents' house. I remember the first time I brought a girl to the house ah. in Nigeria. Ah. My dad, when he came in, he said, I know that there are some bastards <laughs> that are meant to be in this house. Yeah. You're lying. I swear. If I were the guy, I'd jump out the window. <laughs> yeah, that can't. Like, what? I was like, ah. Oh. It's look like embarrassment. Wait, Jeez. I'm not telling you, your dad said that. Yeah. When about he came, the girl? No, no, he's just, he's he's just, just generalizing everything. He's just speaking into the air. Bro, I was <laughs> <laughs> But did you, know dad, did you know your dad was capable of that? Or was that actually knew, like a I, real I, shocker? I, no, it's not like you a real shocker. You were testing your dad, weren't you? No, I wasn't testing. You I didn't know it was going to come back that early. But you know, oh, you know, so you were planning it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like, oh, come meet my girlfriend. Yeah, oh, we're going to the room together. Yeah, you're moving mad. You're moving mad. I know that there are some bastards I don't mean to. What kind of rubbish is this? Your dad called the girl a bastard. That's right. No, it's all of it, especially all of us. It's all of us. Especially 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 all of us. Espec